Hi and welcome back. So a few weeks ago I managed to trash my last Arduino Nano. So I did what everybody else would do. I went online and bought a few new ones. And in the end delivered to my doorstep they only cost me about 10 bucks. So I know they are not the real deal. But they're good enough for what I'm using them for and they only cost 2 to 3 bucks each. The only problem with these really cheap ones is that they don't come pre-soldered yet. So well what does this mean? It means basically your seller sends you an Arduino board and pins, but you actually have to solder the pins onto the board yourself. So if you bought one of these boards recently and you're new to Arduino or electronics in general, don't worry, because in today's video I will show you how you can put one of these boards together yourself and help you avoid making the mistakes I made along the way. Let's go! So today I'm using my 45 watt soldering station in combination with some 6040 soldering wire and I will heat up my soldering iron to about 350 degrees. Alright so let's get started. When we unpack the Arduino we have a Arduino board, a 6 pin and two 15 pins to solder onto the board. What I like to do is start by taking the 6 pin, put it in place and make sure it's positioned correctly. Then I turn the Arduino upside down to solder the first pin. When you start soldering you want to make sure your iron is completely heated up. When soldering you want to start by putting some soldering wire on your tip and press it slightly against the pin. Then you will add some soldering wire until it nicely flows into place. Just make sure you use as little wire as possible so you don't get these ugly nasty blobs. So if you like this video so far and you want to see more, please consider liking this video. This helps me out a lot as a starting YouTuber. As you can see, we have now soldered on our first six pins. Now let's get on to the other ones. So again, we will put the pins in place that makes it way easier to work with. Please make sure the pins are positioned the right way. The long side of the pinch should be on the opposite side of the USB connector. If you've done all this and made sure everything is correctly placed, you can solder on the rest of the pins. There we have it, our finished Arduino Nano. Let's see if we did everything correct and make sure everything works by doing a little test. We are now inside the Arduino IDE and let's open an example sketch called Blink. Once we have opened that we can hit the upload button and this will upload our sketch to our new board. Alright we got an error. It looks like we did not tell Arduino which COM port to use. So please make sure you select the right one. So now that we have selected the right COM port we can try and upload the file again. As you can see, this time we don't get any errors and the sketch is uploaded correctly to the board. So here comes the final part of this video, a little circuit to check if everything works fine. We will take one wire and connect it to ground. Then we'll take another wire to connect that one to the output pin number 13. After that we can put in a 330 ohm resistor to protect our LED from getting destroyed. And after that we will connect our LED to ground. So when we finally manage to plug in the USB cable, we can see that everything works as planned. The LED is continuously going on and off, so the Arduino works. So that was it for this video guys, thank you so much for watching and sticking to the end. This right now is my fourth video and I still have to figure a lot of things out. But if you want to be part of this amazing journey, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and tick the little notification bell. If you have any tips or pointers for me, leave them in the comments. And as always, thank you so much. Stay safe out there and I'll see you in the next one.